Verstappen crossed the line first, but Hamilton won the race. Let's find out why. And trust me, you want to hang along even if you're not an F1 fan. Verstappen was crowned the champion for 2021 after Abu Dhabi's race just a couple of days ago. And there was a lot of controversy in terms of what happened in the last lap and if it was fair or unfair. And I'm not going to go into that. I want to focus more on what happened on the podium and the few moments that led up to that point. Just to refresh your memory, Lewis had won the previous race, the one in Saudi Arabia. And when he had won, Verstappen walked off the podium, just carried his trophy and walked right out. And a lot of people said, listen, we don't blame him. This was fair. This was unfair. And people kind of brushed it off. When Lewis lost the final race on Sunday, there were many videos circulating of him actually in tears. Some of the videos were him crying in the arms of his father, clearly upset, clearly disappointed, and all things considered, it was a very, very tight race. And Lewis did have a very big advantage at some point. And without that crash, it really looked like he was going to win. And you can even hear in his radio that he was super disappointed at the decision and the outcome. But at the end of the day, what happened happened, right? We're not here to argue that. But what really struck me was his first words when a microphone was handed to him. Well, I mean, firstly, a big congratulations to Max and to his team. And I think it was at that moment where everyone saw what a real champion he was. Because for those who don't know, he's a seven time world champion. Which means if he wins one more championship, he'll be undoubtedly, undeniably, and unarguably the most successful F1 driver in history. So all bias aside, when we're just counting the number of championships, he easily wins, especially if he wins a championship in the coming years. To highlight just how disappointing that loss was on Sunday, I want you to imagine being the number one at something for seven years in a row. Hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. Nico Rosberg is second. He takes the championship. You can lose a few small races here and there, but when it really matters, and at the end of every season, you're crowned the winner, the number one person, the leader, the champion. And in Sunday's race, at many points, he had unbelievable advantages where being second never seemed possible. Unpredictable factors played in, there was a crash on the track, and he ended up being second. And now, he's not only faced with an emotion that he hasn't felt in such a long time, in the past seven years losing a championship, he hasn't felt this in such a long time, he had lost due to something that was completely out of his control. It wasn't because of his abilities or his preparation or his focus. And you can just imagine how fuming he was. Whether you're not a fan or not, just put yourself in his position as a human being. I know he'd had very negative situations and stances in the past, but I'm talking about this one specifically because this one's very challenging when it comes to the emotions that were involved. So he not only started by congratulating Max and the Red Bull team, but when he was on the podium, he celebrated. He spent the time, he shook hands with Max, he shook hands with Christian, and he enjoyed the moment. Even if internally he was boiling, and even if internally he still doesn't believe that that was a fair result, but he pulled it off because that's what sportsmanship is about. That's what being a true champion is about. And I know Lewis hasn't always been like this, and I know he's not a perfect human being or a perfect sportsman, but when it counts, and in the large scheme of things, his actions can sometimes be like, okay, I respect that. If he had walked off the podium, people would have absolutely lost it. They would have lost it, even though his emotions were much stronger than when Max walked off the podium just one race before, and people were like, oh, I don't blame him. If you watch Sunday's race, you know that Lewis had all the right to do such a thing, but he didn't. He's gonna congratulate his competitor, and he's gonna stay there even if he doesn't mean it. And the point I'm trying to make in this video whether you're an F1 fan, whether you watched the races or you didn't, whether you're a Lewis fan, whether you're a Max fan, whether you don't support or care about either of them, is that being a champion has so much more to it than just the score or just the end result. If we put up the points on screen, we can see that even after the final result, they were still really close. There's such a big gap between these two and then the runner up or the person in third place. So both are remarkable drivers. There's no doubt about it. But Max has a long way to go in terms of developing that champion attitude that champion mentality. I think it was in the 2020 season where someone had crashed into Max and he almost started a fight. I know Max was aggravated. I know he was leading that race, but crashes happen all the time and it's never a pleasant situation, but you gotta act like a champion. You gotta deal with it like a champion. People say things they don't mean all the time, but to physically go and almost instigate a fight, that's not acceptable, especially when you wanna establish yourself as the up and coming champion, especially when you've got that much potential and especially when people know you have what it takes to win another championship in two and three and four and God knows how many. But the attitude makes all the difference. The attitude makes people really see you as a champion. And there was a tweet by Mario Andretti that talked about just the way he handled that whole situation. Nothing about the race, nothing about the ability, but about handling that situation. And it was posted by the F1 Instagram page. And if you look through the comments, you'll see how much respect people have for Lewis. 
not necessarily as a driver and not necessarily talking about his abilities, but more towards the attitude and more towards how he handled that situation. So for anyone watching the video, if you're really aiming for that leadership position or you're aiming to establish yourself as the leader in a field, whether it's social media, at work, at school, university, you gotta act like a champion. And that means that you're a champion when you're winning and you're a champion when losing. You're a champion on the track when you're racing and you're doing your thing and you're a champion off the track. And again, Lewis wasn't always perfect. He has a lot of instances in the past when he was younger, he was probably more full of himself, but there was a big learning curve and there was a big learning process. And you can see it with the way he talks when he's interviewed. You can see it when he's asked about other people and how he carefully measures and weighs his words. And you can see it, especially in very heated, highly emotional situations like the one we saw on Sunday. And so this is a message for all of us because we all face emotional situations. We all go through stages in life and we say that was not fair. But how do we act? What do we say and what do we do? And do we go through that difficult stage coming out of it as a champion or coming out of it as someone who doesn't know how to handle a loss? No one enjoys losing, but there are people who deal with it the right way and a way that earns you respect and earns you that champion vision and there's a way to do it that loses all the respect that people had for you and people at the end say you know what you're just a sore loser and you probably just want a championship by luck and it's never going to happen again hope you enjoyed watching i want to hear your thoughts in the comments section i want to hear what you thought of the whole incident the whole outcome of the race and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching if especially if <sighs> okay and there was a treat uh, mistreat tweet